For this video, I'm going to discuss the second method on how to determine depreciation or how to compute for the depreciation. This method is called the sinking fund method. Okay, this method assumes that a sinking fund is established in which funds will accumulate for a replacement. And the total depreciation that has taken place up to any given time is assumed to be equal to the accumulated amount in the sinking fund at the time. So, for replacement, like, uh, mag establish ka og sinking fund para to be used uh, for a replacement okay suppose we have discussed for diagram one two three and the life niya is l no? and then at the end years so if you will buy a property no? at a first cost na co now after sa young life if you want to sell it Ang value niya is salvage value or scrap value. Now, suppose after sa young life, you want to buy a new equipment. The same equipment, ah? Okay. So, of course, you need additional capital, ba? Example, for the equipment, the original cost is 1 million, okay? And then after sayang life, you can sell it at 100,000, for example, 100,000. So in order to buy a new equipment, you need to raise an amount of 900,000. Okay. The first cost is 1 million, man. Pero ang nakuha ni mo na, one, sa sale sa, sa sale sa ani. Uh, old equipment is only 100,000. So, need ka mag-raise of 900,000. So, what you will do is mag-put up ka o sinking fund. Sinking fund. O, para, eh, so, ang amount na i-raise mo is CO minus CL. Diba? Mm, like 1 million minus 100,000. Okay, example, 900,000. So, Para makuha ni mo ang 900,000, magput up ka ang sinking, sinking fund. Okay. Yearly. Ano? 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 Up to one. L. So, if you want to get the total value of this sinking fund with respect to year L, that, must, that should be equal to this one. CO minus CL. Okay. Project na ni mo tanan sa future that's equal to CO minus CL. So, this is similar to an ordinary annuity wherein given ang F, you solve for A, the annuity. Okay. So, to solve for D, use the formula in ordinary annuity. Formula of F. So, this one. No? <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, so, that you will not get confused. This is actually F. And our D is A. So the formula of F is F equals A times compound amount factor. Like F given A, I percent L. Now, again, so, so that you will not get confused. Ang formula, the formula that we used sa um, annuities was ang period is N. But in the case of depreciation, L ta. Life man ato. Eh? L. Okay. So, to solve for D, kana asa. Okay. If you will replace this factor by 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 all over I, you cross multiply ang I is this one. And then bring it down. Patong numerator na 1 plus I raised to N. Ah, sorry, L. Ah. Okay, N is replaced by L. Life mo niya, minus 1. So this is the annual depreciation charge. Take note again, now for this method, the annual depreciation charge is uniform. D1 is equal to D2 equal to D3 and so on. 
But when you compute for the total depreciation, you will not just multiply n by d. Mm, so ang, ang, ang way is, ang solution is this. The total depreciation that has taken place up to any given time, example, there is a n, is assumed to be equal to the accumulated amount in the sinking fund at that time. So, bale, this one, for the total depreciation, this one, D7, the value of this is equal to the accumulated of this, accumulated value of this one. So, bale, given ang annuity, you solve for F, referred sa period N. So, the same formula. By CO minus CL will be replaced by D sub N as is ang D pero a number of periods N lang, not L. N lang. Hmm. Opposite na kay F naman ang unknown. So F equals D. This is the compound amount factor. There you Compound amount factor. But take note, ang exponent is N. Ha? Dili siya L. Ha? Oh, and then after this, D, you can solve for the book value. Same lang uh, formula sa state line. C sub N is equal to CO minus D sub N. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so same na procedures, uh, usual na procedures, uh, straight line method. First, need to solve for the, the annual dep depreciation charge and then total depreciation and then book value. Let us solve some problems. A broadcasting corporation purchased an equipment for 80,000 pesos and paid 5,000 pesos from freight and delivery charges to the job site. The equipment has a normal life of 10 years with a trade-in value of 10,000 pesos against the purchase of a new equipment at the end of the life. Determine the annual depreciation cost by the sinking fund method. Assume interest at 6% compounded annually. Okay. okay, so determine the first cost because in this case, there are other expenses. So again, ang sa first cost is you include all payments, no? all expenses incurred before nag-start to operate ang equipment. So in this case, i-add ni mo ang 5,000. So the first cost is 85,000. So compute for the annual depreciation charge. Anyway, what is to ask is this one. Determine the annual depreciation cost by the sinking fund method. This is the formula, eh? This is the formula. And direct substitution, given a CO, 85,000, given a salvage value or trade-in value, 10,000, given ang I, 6%, L, on life of 10 years. And the answer is 5,690.1. Another one, a firm bought an equipment for 60,000 pesos. Other expenses, including installation, amounted to 4,000 pesos. The equipment is expected to have a life of 16 years with a salvage value of 10% of the cost of equipment. Specify ja. 10% of the cost of equipment. Ang cost equipment is 60,000. 
determine the book value at the end of 10 years by syncing fund method. So in getting the book value first, you need to solve for the annual depreciation charge and then total depreciation and then the book value. So the first cost is 60,000 plus 4,000. Okay. And ang salvage value, CCBL is 10% sa cost of equipment. 10% of 60,000 is 6,000. This is our salvage value, 6,000. Okay. So to get the book value, of course, you start with the annual depreciation charge, this one. You start with this annual depreciation charge and then total depreciation and then substitute here. You can get the book value. Okay. So annual depreciation charge given the name CO, CL, I, and L. L is life of 16 years. 16. And this is the annual depreciation charge. And then total depreciation. Again, uh, total depreciation is annual depreciation I N at uh, Our N is 10. Okay. Book value at the end of 10 years. So 10 uh, the annual depreciation depreciation charge 1613.36. So therefore, the total depreciation after 10 years is 25,712.87. After this book value, CO minus D7, subtract, the answer is this one. Okay. And then last, an industrial plant bought a generator set for 90,000 pesos. Other expenses, including installation, amounted to 10,000 pesos. The generator set is to, is to have a life of 17 years with a salvage value of 5,000 pesos. Determine the depreciation, depreciation charge during the third, 13th year and the book value at the end of 13 years by the sinking fund method at 12%. So for the first cost, you should include 10,000 pesos. So the answer is 100,000. So the depreciation charge is this, direct substitution. And the answer is 1943.39. And again, as what you saw a while ago, na sa CASPO diagram, ang annual depreciation charge is constant ja, every year. So whether it's D1, D2, or D3, same lang. So for this one, determine the depreciation charge during the 13th year. The answer is still this one. 1943.39. Okay. So to determine the book value, first you need to solve for the total depreciation. This one. 13 years. And then after this, book value. Okay, this one. Okay. So it's very simple. <clears throat> okay, so I hope that you have learned something. Okay. So all you need to do is solve more problems to be fun, to be familiarized with the topic. And then uh, that would be enough na para uh, enough experience ay mo.
para makasolve ka o problem sa akin na tapos. Uh, thank you for watching.